Okay, it looks like we are recording. Good morning. This is uh, day after Christmas, December 26th. Um, this is just going to be raw footage. I'm not going to do any editing or it's not an orchestrated production, um, impromptu. Um, and I thought I would just do this. This is about forges and pressure and welding temps and that sort of thing. And I just thought I would show what I do and the reason this came to being was I think Christmas Eve um, or Christmas morning, one of the, in the last 48 hours, somebody on one of the Facebook knife making pages asked the group what uh, pressures they used to get the welding temp and um, the pressures were just all over the board I was amazed at some of them extremely what I thought was kind of ridiculously high for welding temps forge welding temps um, which we understand you know we're gonna be in the 2000 and above range so I just thought I'd show my system now a lot of people just show, you know, a forge running and say this is what it's running at. But I'm going to go from the fuel supply to welding temp and show line pressures, um, how I light it, um, the, the blower itself. And, and keep in mind, we're also talking not about Venturi type forges, um, but I'm going to be using a blown forge. It's got a blower in a vertical forge, which I'll also mention is I did this a long time ago and I'm glad I did. Um, this is a 12 inch diameter pipe, right? Quarter inch thick. It's about two feet, uh, 20, 20 some inches tall. And I cut it down the center and added a six inch web on each side so that I have basically a, I have an 18 inch welding zone, which quite honestly, I use a 50 pound little giant and a hydraulic press like a lot of us have. And 18 inches of steel is as much as I want to work anyway. And by the time you work, sometimes even a foot or so, it's cooled off and you can't work it anyway. So this heats as much steel as I want to work at a time, so I'm, this is fine. I also have a two foot long horizontal forge that runs the exact same style of blower. So I'm going to come over there and I'm going to grab the camera, I'm going to do a quick walk outside, I'll also point out this this has a two inch, two inch ceramic wool on the inside, satanite coated with uh, two inches of wool in the top and insulate. See the the blower bottom. I'll I'll do a little close ups on it real quick. But anyway, this is. I hope this encourages other people not to just show their forge running or something, but maybe start a little conversation on their system from the fuel, how to get the fuel to the forge, how the forge runs, temps and pressures, that sort of thing. So I'm going to come and grab that camera and then I'm going to show, walk it out and show my fuel supply. I used, I used, um, got to get it out of the tripod here. It's a little stuck. Okay. I use, um, I used the 100 pound tanks for a really long time and those just don't cut it so gosh for probably 10 years or more now this this is a 120 gallon tank so you know the propane boils at what like minus 40 it converts from liquid to gas which is what we got to have so if you're going to be doing a three four hour damascus forge welding cycle you need a lot of available propane and the smaller containers just don't get it done so anyway this is 120 gallon this is 120 gallons and out here i have a shutoff valve which i'm going to open right now and black pipe black pipe goes into the shop then it comes into the shop and i hope we can all see this Here's, I got black pipe coming down to a regulator. And what we can see 
uh, that also has a shutoff. And I'm going to open the shutoff. I just opened that shutoff, and I can't. This is my line pressure, but of course, this is with the the blower closed. So, as soon, hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back. What I wanted to do was, I don't know if I focus on that, but with the valve closed on the blower, I'm sitting at 10 PSI line pressure. Now, if I, I'm just gonna come over here and dump raw propane. I also have a shut off on my blower, right? With quick disconnect. I'm gonna open this. I'm just dumping raw gas out on the ground, so I'm gonna be kind of quick. So anyway, line pressure, line pressure is 10 PSI. Now, I'm gonna regulate, I'm gonna run this up to about two okay. PSI, stop. So now, we're back recording, I'm gonna show the blower. You'll notice this, uh, the intake on the, is up about four inches off the bottom. There's a, there's a layer of, of uh, ceramic hardboard in the bottom and then about three inches of clay cat litter. That's to catch the flux. I've been running this thing. I've been using this for seven, eight years as is. Well, anyway, here's this blower. This is a quick disconnect gas, gas line coming in. And then I've got, there you, you can hear the gas come out, but this is a shut off here, which is a safety issue. See, I have a shut off here. If I can't get to the forge and everything's going to hell, I got a shut off on the regulator that I just showed you. And if I can't get to it, I've got a shut off. I can run outside and hit that shut off. So I have three shut offs. And this is a needle valve. This is a needle valve which when I turn, of course, you can have a pressure. See, there's, if you want to be able to regulate your atmosphere at different temperatures, you have to be able to control your air, air pressure, air volume, gas, gas pressure, gas volume, or you can't um, real accurately control your atmosphere. So. I can set my gas pressure, open this, and I can regulate how much gas with the needle valve, I can regulate how much gas at a certain pressure. And then I have the blower and a gate valve, so I can regulate how much air I have coming out at this pressure. So one, two, I know where I light it. I'm going to make sure my blower's blowing, and it is. I'm going to shut that blower off. I know where my needle valve needs to be. Um, now, I guess, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, open this gas valve, and then I'm going to come over here and regulate. I'm going to turn my pressure to 1.8 PSI. Then I'm going to shut this thing off. Put my camera back in the tripod. We're going to stop for a minute. Are we recording? Yes, we are. So I just use a, a small propane tank. Then I'm going to hit the fan on the blower. I'm just going to use the bottom of this tank and I'm going to open up the gas valve. And I did that at 935. I'll be back when this thing I is I would up show, to I temp. just remembered somebody made a comment during the conversation when I said I run at about 1.8 
PSI, they said, uh, oh, made a comment about how it must, they couldn't wait that long for it to come up to temp at that pressure, which I want to point out is right at 1.9, 1.8, 1 1.9. It is now, we started at 9.35, so we're, you know, or actually it's about 9.36. Um, we're at seven minutes in. There we are. We're at seven minutes in and, I mean, I could forge right now easily. So, so maybe it's also really important how you're, how your forge is designed, how your forge is designed, and how well how well it's insulated. So it's not just fuel pressure, it's air and volume and pressure and insulation. So I'll show you where it is in 15, or seven, eight, at 15 minutes running time. Okay, right at 15 minutes. And I'm gonna weld, okay? 15 minutes I went out and did a little weld, welded handle onto my billet and uh, some stuff like that. It's just, I'm just doing a, uh, it's a three inch billet. I'm just doing a one knife. Actually, it's a Damascus cleaver. Um, so that's why it's just three inches long. But I'm gonna weld 15 minutes and 1.9 PSI. All right, have a good one. Guess I better get that thing lubed up.